I really feel how light that is. It only weighs 3.8 pounds. So here are a couple of F2 turbochargers and the most popular 6466 units that are out there these days have a stainless steel V-band in and V-band out turbine housing. It seems like over the years the T3 turbine housing has been, been ignored, but not anymore. Now we've done an investment cast T3 turbine housing. Check this baby out. Super lightweight, super smooth inside, very efficient, very lightweight. This is almost half of the weight of an iron housing. It also has very smooth insides because we don't have any parting lines anymore because this is investment cast housing. Even if you have stainless steel sand cast housing, it still has parting lines. It still has a rough inside. These are almost like extrude honed. They're not, but they still have those tendencies where it's really smooth inside. And back in the day when we used to do extrude honed, we picked up power. Well, now we don't have to spend the extra money and you're gonna get it when you buy the turbocharger and there's no upcharge for it. This is an 82 housing. Over here is a 6.3. They look really tiny and I'll tell you why. It's because you can get rid of all that bulk on the outside. This is 310 stainless. It's gonna contain the wheel, but we can get rid of all that extra mass of an iron housing. Additionally, we've got a really nice flare on the back side of these to help the expansion ratio of the gas as it comes out of the turbine wheel. So in comparison, this is what an iron 82 housing looks like compared to a stainless steel housing. It's, this is super, it looks significantly smaller, but that's because you're really seeing what the inside of the iron housing would look like without us added material on there that adds weight and mass. And also when it cools down, it heat soaks back into the turbocharger because this is a really good uh, thermal heat soak. So when you get this baby hot, eventually it's gonna cool down and go back into the turbo. Not so much with the stainless because it doesn't have as much BTU capacity of the iron. So overall, we put when we shut down the turbocharger, less heat goes into the turbocharger. So another benefit is gonna be less under the hood temperature after shutdown. This is another big feature of this housing. Again, the T3s have kind of been ignored over the years that a round hole is better than a rectangular hole. But I want to tell you something. When you're trying to put four big primaries into a small hole, this actually has a lot more square area than the little tiny round holes. So kind of in closing about this T3 housing is look at the square area that you have to build a collector into. For those of you who are already running T3, you may find a significant power increase just with the housing, not to mention all the features in the turbocharger.